All right, so May is wildfire preparedness month, so now might be a good time to make sure that you and your loved ones are ready for fire season. And joining us today with some helpful tips is Rick Martinez with the California Fire Foundation. Always good to have you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me again. Okay, so fire season, before you know it, it does kind of sneak up on us, so now is a good time to prepare. Yes, it sneaks up on us, and you're right. Now is a great time to prepare um, month, wildfire preparedness month, May, wildfire preparedness month, yeah. and... Um, so it's a good time to start looking around your home and uh, particularly if you're in the rural environment. Sure. We talk about, you know, defensible space. So removing the weeds and the brush, those types of things. And then if you're in the urban environment here in town, it's a good time to look around your home also. Yeah. I mean, again, this is one of those opportunities for you to go, wait, what am I, what, what have I kind of neglected at this moment? So what are some great tips that you can give people right now to start preparing? Well, first and foremost, as I said, you need to look around your home or your sure. business. You need to make sure that it's, you know, general housekeeping on the outside, brush, those types of things. If in the urban environment, you know, extra stuff that you don't need to have there. We talk about defensible space, so you want to remove the brush, low-hanging branches, any, any dead trees or bushes, uh, and give yourself as much room as you can. We also encourage communities to band together and do it, because if you clear your area around your home and your neighbor doesn't, it does increase the wildfire threat. So we encourage community-based organizations to work within their neighborhoods to start to clean up. Love that, yeah, it takes a community. What types of things should you start, uh, aside from clearing out, what kind of things should you start assembling as far as maybe having a to-go kit? It's very important to be prepared. So you start with the essentials, and that would be medication, things like that. If you have any portable medical devices, knowing how you would move them to a new location, and then you go to your important papers, obviously clothing, and then, um, you know, if, depending on where you're headed, food, yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, I brought up that you are part of the California Fire Foundation. You support victims and other firefighter families. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Go, just kind of expand on that a little. We uh, were formed about 25 years ago and for the whole purpose of supporting fallen firefighters' families. So we have programs that support fallen firefighter families as well as firefighters that are injured uh, in the line of duty and we have other support programs for them, but as well as the public. We do a lot with disaster victims and with communities that are in a threat zone. So some of the things I talked about with fuels reductions, we have programs that encourage uh, communities to, to do that also. Okay, and how can folks help support that foundation? Well, you know, like every charitable organization, we run on money, so donations yeah. are very helpful. Um, there's a a number of ways to do that, but the easiest way is like everyone else on our website, which yeah. is cafirefoundation.org. California Fire Foundation is easy to find on the web. And again, today is a big day of giving, so no better time. No better time to do two <laughs> things, prepare yes. yourself and help us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Rick Martinez, we always appreciate your time. Thank you very much for having us.